Hello, Kieran from GMR Spares here, and you join me at my workbench, which is a little bit messy this week, but with good reason, because this week I've been modifying the Fender Champion 600. I've done three modifications to it, a three-band EQ, negative feedback on and off, and a gain control. So starting at the beginning, let's talk about this three-band EQ I've put on. Now the Fender Champion 600 does actually have an EQ installed, but it's actually a fixed EQ, which means it has resistors on the PCB, which have a fixed range of frequencies that cannot be changed from outside without changing the resistor values. If we change those to potentiometers, like these, it means we can have a lot more control over the different tones we can get out of the amp. And if I just show you here, that is actually what the EQ would look like inside as stock in the fixed components. So obviously we can turn the bass up quite a bit, the treble up quite a bit, and the mid. The mid control is a bit of a special one because it uses a larger value of potentiometer than normal Fender amps would. That means we can get more driven sounds and it also means that we can get to sound more like the original Fender Champs. With all the EQ controls all the way up, we can mimic the fact that the original Fender Champs didn't actually have an EQ circuit. It was preamp valve into output valve to the speaker and that was it. So here's some classic examples of Fender Champs being used. I've recreated some of the tones from these famous songs. The first one is Layla by Derek and the Dominoes. <laughs> The second one is Cause We Ended As Lovers by Jeff Beck. Third example is Cinnamon Girl by Neil Young. One of my favourite uses for the Fender Champion 600 is not as a standalone amplifier using the internal speaker, it's actually to use an external cabinet. That way you get a much richer sound than using the 6 inch speaker that's inside. The EQ controls make far more difference when you actually use an external speaker than when you use the internal one. And also this gain control mod really comes into its own and you can get some really sparkly cleans at a level that is audible for people to listen to. And this example of clean guitar playing is La Freak by Chic. If we adjust the gain control and the volume control and the EQs together, we can access some of those classic sounds from really brilliant vintage amps such as the Fender Twin and the Fender Bassman. One classic example of a really good Fender tone is Brown Sugar by the Rolling Stones. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, though the Fender Champ is small in stature and it's only 5 watts, it can actually give quite a lot of volume out of it. And in this example, you can actually see the camera shake from the amount of bass that I've rolled in on the EQ and the amount of treble and mid that I've took off. This example is Ball and Biscuit by The White Stripes. <laughs> The last mod that I'm going to show you is the negative feedback switch. Now what negative feedback is, is basically a limiter built into your amplifier. What it does is it takes a connection from the positive output of your speaker and links it back to the cathode of one of your preamps. This delivers an out of phase signal which when mixed with the other signal actually reduces the level proportional to the amount of level that's coming out. This cuts on distortion and means that the amplifier will never go as loud and raspy as you might want it to. So if we put a switch and switch that off, we can get some really raspy, rattly kind of sounds. And this final example is the best example of it, and it's Revolution by the Beatles. <laughs> ¶¶ 